سنفرغ لكم أيها الثقلان أو إنس جن Now here is an amazing thing set of ayahs is this ayah says if you owe jinn and humans if you are able to pass by the outer edge of the heavens and the earth then do so the mufassirin earlier on they deemed this to be that oh humans if you imagine that you could flee from the the the, the grounds of the judgment day then go He's basically saying you can't. Later, Mufassirin clearly state that this is literal. It is about actually human beings leaving, going into space. Modern Mufassirin. And that's why they say tafsir is one of the subjects that never ends. It never ends. And here we have essentially space travel in the Quran. Oh, jinn and humans, if you're able to penetrate the outer edge of the heavens and the earth. So the question of human beings penetrating the inner part of the heavens and the earth is assumed. It's saying if you're able to penetrate the outer edge, then go ahead. You will not be able to do it without power. Sultan here means knowledge, wealth, and willpower. Sultan. Knowledge, wealth, and willpower. But then it's saying that if you ever reach the outer edge of the heavens, which we don't even know where it is, by the way, You notice that we don't know where it is. We just see black. We have no clue where is the outer edge. Where is the rim? Has anyone, uh, have anyone ever looked that up? Like, what is the rim of the universe? We have no clue. But he's saying that if you ever reach that rim, you'll be uh, uh, confronted with nuhas and shuwadh min nar, flares of fire and copper. And you will have no one to help you. You will not succeed. So what will you not succeed? It doesn't say you won't succeed going space. You will not to succeed penetrating the outer rim of the universe of of of, of space. What we know, what we know to be space. We haven't even reached that outer rim. So it's amazing that the verse is saying, referring to the outer rim, not to just uh, uh, outer space. The edge. And of course, the old tafasir, they don't address this at all. They address it as tawbikh. Tawbikh is if you think that you're going to run away from us on the day of judgment, you're going to fail. That's how the classical tafasir read that. And here we are seeing exactly space travel mentioned here in the Quran. Now let's read the tafsir here. سنفرغ لكم أيها الثقلان يقال فرغت من الشغل أفرغ فروغا وفراغا وتفرغا I free myself for you. The meaning سنقصد لمجازاتهم ومحاسبتكم We will direct, we will intend to judge you and reward you and punish you. Every single little thing. You won't get anything by us. As Surah Al-Zalza. Uh, even in Adam's weight of good and bad you're going to be judged by it you will see it you're going to see it in other words it's not going to pass by if you see a small can in the road and you throw it in the garbage on the day of judgment you're going to see that if you threw it there and imagine ah, it's not a big deal or you threw a banana peel there and someone could slip on that banana peel and you think to yourself well what are the chances forget it let me just throw it you're going to see that on the day of judgment nothing will pass you by سَنَفْرُغُ لَكُمْ مَا وَعَدْنَاكُمْ وَنُوصِلْ كُلًا إِلَى مَا وَعَدْنَاهُ There were no promise will go unfulfilled. No promise of Allah will go unfulfilled. سَيُفْرَغُ لَكُمْ Al-A'mash recited it. سَيُفْرَغُ لَكُمْ أَيُّهَا الثَّقَلَانَ سَيَفْرُغُ لَكُمْ Recites Hamza and Qisai. Now, يَا مَعْشَرَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ O oh, jinn and humans. The Mufassirin say about this. قَالَ الضَّحَّاكِ إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمًا يوم القيامة أمر الله السماء, السماء الدنيا فتشققت بأهلها فتكون الملائك على حافتها حتى يأمرهم الرب فينزلون إلى الأرض فيحيطون بالأرض ومن فيها That the human beings and the jinn will all be resurrected on a flat plain of earth, of land. Then the sky will open up and it will pour down with angels and the angels will surround them like soldiers. And then they will initiate the judgment. And then another 
uh, uh, sky will open up and more angels will come down and more angels will come down until seven layers of angels come down, surround the human beings and make them stand in rows, organizing the human beings, managing the chaos of the human beings. Okay, so angels come down and the chaos of human beings just being by themselves comes to an end. They organize the human beings. And they put them by generation, first generation, second, all the way in order. And you stand with your imam. You're resurrected with your imam. Who did you follow? You followed Hitler? All right, go stand with Hitler. Who, who was your imam? Who did you love in this world? And who did you follow in this world? Okay, you stick with them. You're going to be with them on the day of judgment. In rows like this, until your names are called. No one move, no one talk. فَلَا تَسْمَعُ إِلَّا هَمْسَةً they organize the human beings in rows like this, and no human being is has any ability to speak. No one will speak. La tasma'u illa hamsa. You would not hear except like hams, just like a, 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 a sniffle there or a sneeze there or something like hamsa. Just like when you're in salah and everyone's quiet for salah to dhuhr or something, and you don't hear anything except little things here and there. قلت فعل هذا يكون في الدنيا وعلى ما ذكر ابن المبارك يكون في الآخرة وعن الضحاك أيضا إن استطعتم أن تهربوا من الموت so ضحاك let's like look at the early interpretations of the scholars who never imagined that space travel was possible what did they say they said if you imagine that you could flee from death ابن عباس says إن استطعتم أن تعلموا ما في السماوات وما في الأرض فعلموا ابن عباس says this ayah is saying the, the more, if you can learn about the heavens and the earth, then go try to learn about it. You will not learn anything about the heavens and earth except with Sultan, which means what? Proof. You need proof. So it's like almost pointing to epistemology here. You need proof. You need to learn uh, how to determine facts. It's also said, you will not go without sultan in other words no matter how far you go human being you will not exit my my realm you're always in god's realm it's as if you leave the earth have you left god's realm no qatada says la tamfuduna illa bi mulkin wa laysa lakum mulk wa la tamfuduna illa ila sultan yursalu alaykum ashwadun ay wa law kharajtum arsala alaykum shawadun min nar wa akhadhakum al adhab al mana' min al nufuth if you try to leave this earth, you will be met with fire. In other words, shuwadh um, minnar, flares and copper. If you try to flee the abode of the afterlife, in other words. So again, some of them are still, many of the narrations are still related to that, uh, the ard al-mahshar. The word ard al-mahshar means the abode in which the judgment is taking place.